here with Susan and Dale. Now, Susan, actually, the daughter of Jack Roush Sr. And we're in one of the most hallowed grounds of all Mustang fans or car fans in general, the museum for Roush. We've been managing the museum, collecting cars from racing as far back as drag racing from the 70s, concept vehicles, and examples of the Roush Performance Products Mustangs that we produce today. I know one that our customers would probably like to see is the car that really started it all, a very important car in the Roush history, 001 if I'm not mistaken. My father had wanted to build a Roush Mustang. He took a pre-production car and we built the first Roush Mustang. Officially, this is the car that really started it all, right? This is the car that my father raced in 1971. So he bought the car, does his magic to it, wins the class, and then he sells the darn thing so he can start the company Roush. That is wild. And then later on, you found the car, right? Yep, the fellow that owned it at the time gave me a call. We ended up getting the car back. There so it it's, a, it's a, a very, very precious piece to this Absolutely. collection. I think your father said if you had to pick one, out of this entire room, this is his baby. A lot of people aren't aware that you still use clay in a lot of modern automotive design, and this is basically the 2015 RS3 before it took shape. And this was very vital in the role of producing this car. Well, as a company, we produce a full-scale clay model of a vehicle for looking at styling cues. If you look at the two halves of the car, there are actually subtle differences, and it's to examine the styling. It is very much hands-on. I think a lot of times, too, you see things on the computer, but you have to see it in the flesh. Every car craft car has a KK number. He searched this car all over for that KK number. The only number he could find was 429, and he thought well, that designated that it was a 429. But no, this is car craft 429, wow. the serial number. Boss 429, number 429, what are the odds? This is a concept car. It's actually a composite body on a wooden frame and an aluminum armature. And uh, it was built to present at the auto show. A group of investors came together and they wanted to produce this car along the lines of a supercar. It's a beautiful concept. It really is. A car that has kind of an interesting story behind it is this box body right here. Well, this was a concept for the 25th anniversary of the Mustang. He wanted to show Ford that an anniversary edition could be very exciting from a performance point of view. Unfortunately, it was a little too much. That's what I was going to say. Twin turbo, it wasn't a 302. It was actually a 351, putting out about 400 wheel horsepower, 400 torque. So back then, a little overkill in Ford's eyes, correct? Yes. One of the cool features about this car is it actually has a driver adjustable suspension. Really? Inside the cockpit, there's a knob, and you can adjust the handling. How about that? And he said the nice thing, too, that he actually built it on a used Fox body so that way he got to retain the car and that's why it's here today. The one thing I did notice, so this isn't just a museum, you actually have a couple race cars back there that you uh, pilot yourself. And we're sitting in front of one of your babies right now. Well, this is a uh, 2010 Mustang. Our idea was to build it for super stock racing, but then I got the crazy idea, maybe we should try something different and went in the direction of running it on propane. It's a belt coyote motor, correct, with a 2.9 Whipple on top. Enough to click off, I think, low nine second time slips is what you're doing in this thing? Yes, it's and a lot of fun. I understand you're about ready to load this thing up because you're going to a big race in Norwalk soon, and so I kind of want to hear what this thing sounds like. So do you mind if I get out of the way and I guess we'll watch you load it up or at least hear how this thing sounds? 